Welcome students, welcome to Unboxers video classes. Uh, in one of my video, I have discussed the basic and preliminary concepts of finance rule. So in this video, I will discuss some questions which are important for your board as well as your competitive purposes. Okay. So a question is given that which of the following has the highest melting point? Not that which of the following has the highest melting point? The options are options are C A F two, options B C A C L two, option C C A B R two, and option B C A I two. So if you follow my video related to Fajan's rule, I have already discussed that. If a cation is fixed, we can see here the cation is fixed as the anionic nucleus increases, that means phi or ionic potential increases, that means covalent nature increases and thereby melting point stability would be decreased. And that is why here calcium fluoride should have the highest melting point because their anionic nucleus are very much small. The next question we have between SNCl2 between SNCl2 and SNCl4 which one is more ionic and why? Explain. Yeah, it is to be explained. So here it is plus two. We can see. We can see here it is plus four due to this minus four due to this minus two. So as cationic charge increases, that means. If I am cation, that means I am becoming more electron deficient, and that is why more phi. So I will have more covalent nature. So between these two, SnCl2 is more ionic. Okay. Next question we have the correct increasing order of covalent nature is among NaCl, LiCl, BeCl2. And the options are there in SCL greater than LICL greater than BCL2 or less than four options are there. We need to arrange them according to their increasing, increasing covalent nature. So we can see here this is a plus one charge, this is also plus one charge, but here this is plus two charge. So obviously plus 2 is more electron deficient, that means it will have more phi, that means it will have more covalent nature. So it will be highest covalent among these three. Now to decide in between these two, this is smaller charge and this is smaller size, sorry, and this is higher size. So charge density will increase, here the charge density is higher. So it is more covalent in nature because it will attract the Cl minus towards itself in more rapid manner. And that is why the increasing covalent nature would be our NaCl greater than LiCl greater than BeCl2. Next question that is already I have discussed in my Fajal's rule video that arrange them according to their melting point order. Obviously, NaCl greater than MgCl2 greater than AlCl3 and that is also the water solubility order. Because it is more ionic, you can see plus 1, you can see plus 2, you can see plus 3. So, it is having more phi value that means more covalent nature but it is less covalent that means more ionic so melting point would be higher. Next question, but to solve the next question, we need to have an idea regarding this that with the increase in S percentage in the hybridization, S percentage in the hybridization, electronegativity value increases. That means SP hybridized carbon atom is more electronegative than sp2 is more electronegative than sp3 because it is 50% 50, 50 it is one third near about 33 and it is one fourth near about 25 it is 50% it is near about 33% one third and it is 25%
So with the increase in S percentage, that means it will have more electronegativity. So we can we can uh, see this that acetylene, and if we consider ethene, ethene, or if we consider ethene, then obviously you know this is sigma 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 sigma. This is also sigma. So these two carbon atoms are sp3. This is sigma 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 sigma. This is pi. So these two carbon atoms are sp2, and this is sigma 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 pi pi. So these two carbon atoms are sp. So acetylene has some acidic property in presence of strong base, but ethylene and ethene cannot have the ability to liberate H plus. So the question is there. Uh, the current total of electronegativity of the hybrid orbitals of the carbon. So obviously, sp hybrid is more electronegative than sp2 is more electronegative than our sp3. This option would be correct. There are multiple four options are there. Okay. And the next question we have the hybridizations of atomic orbitals of nitrogen. In NO2 plus atomic orbitals of nitrogen in NO2 plus and NO3 minus and NH4 pluses are respectively sp2, sp, sp3 or sp, sp3, sp2 or sp2, sp3, sp or sp, sp2, sp3. So whatever we need to find out the hybridization of the central atom of this nitrogen. So we need to have a formula that is H equals to half V plus X minus C plus A, where V is the number of valence electron of central atom, X is the number of monovalent atoms attached to its central atom, number of monovalents mind it, and C is the charge of cation, and A is the charge of anion. So here nitrogen, we can see all the central atoms are nitrogen in this uh, 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 ions. So here 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. So here we can see that the valence electrons are in case of nitrogen that is 5. So we need to put here 5. In case of this one there is no monovalent that is why x would be 0. In case of this one there is a one positive charge. So there so we have a question that the hybridizations of the atomic orbitals of nitrogen in NO2 plus, in NO3 minus and in NH4 plus. We have options sp2, sp, sp3 or sp, sp3, sp2 like four options we have. So we need to find out the hybridization of this nitrogen in all the cases. So here we have a formula that is H equals to half V plus X minus C plus A, where V is the number of valence electron of central atom, X is the number of monovalent atoms attached to its central atom. Mind it, attached to its central atom, if the central atom is monovalent, X will be zero. Okay. And C is the charge of cation, and A is the charge of anion. So if we consider this, this structure, then nitrogen we know we need to memorize the electronic configuration till 1 to 36. 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. So here valence electrons are how much? 5, how many? 5. So here we need to put here 5. There is no monovalent. Oxygen is bivalent we know. So x will be 0. Charge, we have one positive charge. So c will be 1. And there is no negative charge. So 5 minus 1, how many? 4 by 2, it would be 2, H is 2, and if H is 2, then the hybridization is uh, S2. Similarly, if we find out this one and this one, we will get this nitrogen is SP2 hybridized, and this nitrogen is SP3 hybridized by applying this formula. Okay. So these type of questions related to finance rule and hybridizations are very much important. So if you think that it is to be liked and shared, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.
to get more complex videos in a simple and simplified manner. Thank you so much.